everybody here this morning. It's a little bit bl blustery outside. You know, it started out really pretty. I, you know, the sun was out, the moon was setting, and the, uh, the, the ocean was nice and calm. I was like, after this show, I'm going to go jump in the ocean, j go jump in the water. Now it's like blowing up a storm. And it's, I think we're still expecting or still experiencing the tail effects, the tail end of Hurricane Douglas. What do you think? Yes. Yeah. We're going to get blowback. Blow back. That's what it is. Blow back. <laughs> I, I like that. I like that term. You know, I could use that term for a lot of different things. But <laughs> no, we're going to get blowback. We're going to get blowback. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get that, you know, because it probably left a bunch of moisture. And then if the trade started, it picks up all that moisture and it's going to mm -hmm. blow right back at us. And didn't you feel like yesterday was like especially muggy and hot? Like the humidity was huge, Off the chart. right? Off but the chart. you know what I liked about it was, well, at least for me, living down in Kauai High, where it's hot like all the time. Like we have to pay for cold water. That's what it is. You know, you turn on the hot, you turn on the water in the tap or in the shower, and and it just naturally. I mean, you could put it all the way on yeah, cold, it's, and it's it comes up. Yeah, when you turn it's on. it's it's hot. You got to pay for cold water in Kauai High. So yeah, I was I was down there, but what was really nice was that it was we had some cloud cover. I could work in the yard. You know, it's not as hot. The wind is still blowing, nice and comfortable. So yeah, I don't even know how people could work in the middle of the day in Kauai High without no, you know, cooking your brain. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. You will definitely. I think you could fry an egg in the middle of the night on the road in Kauai High. I haven't tried that yet, but I think I might try it. You know, I, I we've got. You should do it. I think and, and, I just and, 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 and video take it. a selfie of it. <laughs> you know, it's it's the kind of thing that YouTube videos are made of. Yeah, where yeah. can you fry an egg? Oh, I think I think it's it like, would be a big hit. You get all kinds. I, of all things. kinds of little oh. things. You know what? Already we have come up with some good ideas. How about this synchronicity? That's right. <laughs> hey everybody, aloha. Yeah. You know, our friend Bob is um, on vacation. Um, this week and so he's he is not here but with me this morning I am honored and very pleased to have none other than Uncle David Ibrahimi with me uh, he's running the board folks running the board That's so what we do <laughs> we have the technology we have the technology folks and speaking of technology mahalo nui loa for sticking around as we experience experience just a few just a little technical heartbeat, glitch heartbeat. a heartbeat you know this past week I had my iMac crash on me and, and I've had it for, it's a 2013, it's seven oh, years oh, old. Oh, yeah. It's, you know, and it's seen. Yeah, it's a Neanderthal. It so. is. It's seen better days, but it had a nice, huge screen. I liked having it in the kitchen where I could, you know, right. look at recipes, listen to music, see picture photos of my family going by there. You know, it was great. But I, I'm trying to call around to see where I can get it fixed. And I... Well, there was what there's... Well, there were, used to be two stores in mm -hmm. Kona, and then there was one store. <laughs> and I think that one store, uh -huh. it was it was closed during the pan, our pandemic, or closed down, and I don't think it's open up there, mm -hmm. but its sister store is in Hilo. Okay, I could, I could do Hilo. Yeah, you could yeah. do Hilo. And it's... Uh, 808 Computers, was that the one? No, or? it's Mac Made Easy. Oh, we're not promoting anything. No, no, just, we're just. I just wanted we, to know. We, where to, we don't have a lot of choices. Where to go? Like what no, to do? No, we you don't, know. They don't. Uh, especially, the only other place would be Maui and oh. Honolulu. Mm, no, we're no. not going to Honolulu. No, I mean I love my Mac, but not that much. I'm, I, right. Yeah. Right. Let's. We got to make things make sense here. So when my uh, laptop this morning kind of. Well, on air, I can yeah. give you one other name. Oh, local. Yes. So off air. So okay. Off air. So once, if when we're at, I'll t I'll give you uh, his name, and you can call him up and, and see if he can help you. Tell him what you want. Oh, call him up. Yeah. You remember that song? Oh. Yes. Yes. That's right. Yeah. Jesus on the hotline is I think that was the yes, title of that song. That's right. I need to go find that. I haven't that's sung that for a long. It a is on the main line. Yes. Oh, is that Jesus what it is? is? On the main line. I like the, especially the clapping that yeah. goes behind that. Yeah. It's it's fun. Yeah. It's a fun song you get to. It's, you get to dance whenever you get to dance in church. It's a good time. All right. <laughs> yes. That's right. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. Some you know that uh, I think uh, I remember it was on PBS and it was. Uh, Bill Moyers, oh. and he went around to different faiths, different mm -hmm. churches, mm -hmm. and uh, 
he was just doing a study of how people, you know, how celebrate they behave. how they celebrate their faith. And definitely, I think the African American churches had it going on. Oh man, <laughs> when I was living in LA and I would go to those churches, you know, down. I had a little group of friends that I'd hang out with, you know, yeah, yeah. And, 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 you know, they'd take me to church and stuff. And it was like, church was fun. It, it, yes, it was, it was, a, it was a good up. time. That's why they, you know, they oh, had all their Sunday best. Yes. It was a party. Talk about Sunday best. The ladies with their hats. The hats. The hats the are hats. a killer. I mean, we're talking. We're just we, talking. <laughs> And, and another level. It's another yeah, level. It's, it's totally another level. I mean, I, mean, I wanted to be, I'm, I was inspired to make hats. I, it was beautiful. I mean, they got nothing, you know, what is that name of that, that horse race over in England that the, oh, the ascot? Uh, yeah, the ascot. The, uh, they yeah. got nothing on these no, Mahinis no, in, no. in Popolo Church. No. It's good. Oh, yeah. They just, <laughs> I mean, I lived in the San Francisco Bay Area and I lived in Oakland. So oh, you, know, you got on Sunday, it. Oh, Tower of Powerland. Oh, to East Tower Bay Grease, yeah. man. Yeah. I have a whole playlist. Oh, do of you? Me too. Yeah, yeah. I, I am a Tower of Power fan. Tower of oh, Power girl. Yeah. Oh, just. Oh. Yeah. Cold blood. Oh. Yeah, you know, all the. It's just. Uh, nice. You know, nice. Yeah, good stuff. Good, good music. Stuff. Yeah, good music. It was just. And, you know, and then who can do without war? Yep. Yeah. Um, what yeah. is life? Well, that's right. What, what is, that's what right. is All life? Day All day <laughs> For your entertainment. <laughs> well, just in case you were wondering where we were going with this, <laughs> we are going to be doing, actually today, uh, I put together a tribute to uh, Kui Li, who is a local songwriter, composer, entertainer. Um, his birthday is on July 31st. And so I thought, you know, today would be a good time to, to put something close enough, right? Close enough for government work. Um, yeah, I thought I'd put something together, a, a little playlist of his. He wrote hundreds of songs, many of which have never been recorded, never been released, um, all on paper. I, I'm hoping that his family still has that, that just treasure trove of songs. But the songs that he did record and the songs that he did that did become famous. Many of them were made famous by Don Ho. In fact, a lot of people say, were it not for Don Ho, we wouldn't know who Kui Lee is, and were, were it not for Kui Lee, we wouldn't know who Don Ho is either. Because it was, I'll Remember You, Days of My Youth, all of those Don Ho classics were, were written by Kui Lee. And he, uh, um, did he live in, uh, in Oahu? Was that yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And, and his time frame is sixties. Oh, and okay. you know, when I start playing it, <laughs> you 60s. will hear that. Yeah. He was yeah. Uh, most often called by Don Ho. He he was the singer songwriter of Hawaii's generation of that generation, and you'll hear that when we start playing a little bit of music. But we'll go we'll go into that a little bit later. Yeah. Did the you have a question? Hour? The martini oh. <laughs> <Is> that... <laughs> You mean with like Arthur Lyman <laughs> and all those yeah. folks? It was a whole nother, it was more um, folk Hawaiian. It was sort of a, a transitionary period. And it, it gave birth in part and gave rise to all those surf rock musicians that came later, like Cecilio Capono. Yeah, the, yeah. Right. Uh, you know, all of those guys. Yeah, the long haired. Yeah, guys. yeah. Right. It, it, it transitioned into rock, is right. what, it, what right. it did, in Hawaii anyway. And, and my dad, you know, interestingly enough, um, my dad met him met him in L.A. before he passed, and he was very young when he passed, uh, I think only 32 or 33 years old. But to have written that much music in that short a period of time. Very prolific. Wow. Yeah, yeah. some people, it just flows out of them. Right. You know, like Lady Ipo, a, a lot of our listeners know who Lady Ipo is. And yeah. She was at one time a, a, a resident here in Kohala with her family. Her father took care of the lighthouse over here, but... Prolific writer and her daughter Kainani Kahonaili is the same same way. So it runs in the genes. I think I didn't get that from my dad. Yeah. Well, I think you got something else. Well, <laughs> he's rolling in his grave right now. <laughs> and then um, also, I want to let everybody know that we are going to be um, having a guest on air this morning. Right. Um, Alan Alan Brown from Kohala Middle School is going to be joining us on the air this morning. He's going to call in and give everybody the 411 on what's going on with our public schools in Hawaii. We're due to open up here in a week or two, and uh, that's 
a little on the table. <laughs> we're not really sure. So that's why we're going to have him come on the air, share with us what he knows. Um, and of course, you know, situations, the climate changes from day to day. I think with the DOE, I, I live with a DOE person, so I hear all about it every single day. Yes, but uh, but but it does change. So we're going to get the scoop for you on on right here at Can KR. So stick around, uh, bear with us. Uh, we're going to open up with a, a, a couple of a couple of Quili numbers. Um, the first one is one of his more f popular ones. You know, when I go on iTunes and I look at I here's what I do. I go to iTunes and I take a look at how many people have bought which <laughs> which song the, on the, the album. The, the popularity. Yeah, the popularity yeah. little gauge yeah. that they have on there. And this is, of course, one of his favorites, and, and for good reason. It's it's a classic. And I remember my dad doing a, um, an arrangement of this for uh, his choir, for Sing Out Hilo, of all things, uh, back in the day in the 1970s, early 70s. And, and it was a very popular tune at the time, and for good reason. So here we go, Days of My Youth, and then uh, a couple more by Kui Lee, and, and we'll, we'll take it away from there. Thank mm -hmm. you. 